In this video, you'll learn how to solve an exponential equation with a single exponential term. The steps are to first rewrite the equation with the term containing the exponent by itself on one side. So move any addition or subtraction to the other side by doing the opposite operation. Then divide both sides by the coefficient of the term containing the exponent. So get rid of any coefficients on the exponential term. Then take the logarithm of both sides. But before you do the logarithm of both sides, it's really important that you've isolated that exponential term and divided off the coefficient. So you take the logarithm of both sides. If the base is 10, then the common log or LOG is most convenient. If the base is E, then the natural log or LN is most convenient. And if your base is something different than 10 or from E, then it doesn't matter which one you choose. Your answer will come out the same whether you use natural log or LOG. Then you use the power rule to bring the exponent out front. So the power rule was one of the log properties that we learned. The power rule says that log base B of M to the K, so if you have an exponent on the argument, the, the piece that's plugged into the log, then that exponent can come down in front and get multiplied by the log base B of M. So this would be equals K times log base B of M. So if you have log base B of M to the K, the K can come down in front and become K times log base B of M. Then you divide both sides by the logarithm that's on the same side as the variable. So you're trying to get the K by itself or whatever the exponent was, the variable term by itself. And then continue to solve for the variable. Let's look at two examples. The first one says, solve the equations algebraically. Check your answer by plugging the value that you found into the original equation. So I'm gonna follow the steps that I outlined above and there's nothing added or subtracted so I can skip the first step. The second step is divide both sides by the coefficient that's attached to the exponential term. So I'm gonna do 3000 equals 150 parentheses three to the four T. That's the equation we were given. And I'm going to start by dividing both sides by 150. So over on the right side of the equation, 150 over 150 cancels, and that would just become a one. On the left-hand side, I need to do 3000 divided by 150. So you just do that in your calculator, we get 20. So our equation now becomes 20 equals three to the four T. So now my exponential is by itself. It has no coefficient. There's nothing added or subtracted. So this is the part where I would take the log of both sides. I can use natural log or LOG, the common log. It doesn't matter which one you use, your numeric answer will come out the same in the end. So I'm gonna use LOG, so I'll do log of 20 equals log of three to the four T. And now I'm on the step where I use the power property. So that power, the 4t, will come down in front. And I have log of 20 equals 4t log of 3. Now here I have the t down in front, so that's good. So now all I have to do is divide off all the things that are multiplied by t. And log of three is just a constant. 
So I can go ahead and divide by that. And I'm also going to include the four down here. So I'm gonna divide by four log of three. And I'll divide the left side of my equation by four log of three also. And that's going to cancel out the 4 over 4 will cancel, and the log of 3 over log of 3 will cancel. So I end up with log of 20 over 4 log of 3. Now I have to be careful when I'm putting this into a calculator because I have two factors in the denominator. So if I were putting this into a calculator and I didn't have a fraction mode in my calculator, I would need parentheses around that denominator. So I'll have divided by four log of three equals T. So this would be my answer. This is what I would call an exact answer. So if the problem asks you for an exact answer using log or LN, this is what you would give. This would be the exact answer. And now to get the approximate answer, what you would do is you would put this into your calculator. So you would actually put in log of 20, close the parentheses, divided by, so now, it actually puts me in the denominator here, so I don't need parentheses around the denominator. I can just do four log of three. So this would be the approximate answer, 0. 0.6817. So 0. T is approximately 0. 0.6817. I'll double check that to make sure I wrote it down correctly, remembered it correctly, 6817. So this would be what we would call the approximate answer. So exact answer involves the logs and the approximate answer is what you get when you put those logs into your calculator. So notice that my answer had LOG log, but I told you that you could use natural log if you wanted to and your answer would come out the same. So check it out. If I use natural log instead of LOG, I'll do natural log of 20 divided by four natural log of three. And my answer comes out exactly the same. So whether you use log or natural log, it doesn't matter, your answer is equivalent. All right, now the last step is to check our answer. So our original equation was 150 times three to the four T. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 150 parentheses, three to the four times, and I wanna stay up in the exponent. So let me go back. Oh, it's not gonna let me, okay, there we go. Three to the four, and it, okay. Let me try this. I'm gonna put parentheses. Okay, I'm gonna do 150 times three exponent. Now I'm gonna put parentheses and I'll do four times. And I'm gonna put this answer in. I'm gonna put the point six eight one seven zero eight two five seven. close the parentheses, that equals 3,000. So that's what we wanted our equation to be. 3,000 equals 150 times three to the four T 
And so that tells us we got the correct solution. So that's how you check your answer is put the t value or whatever your variable value is back into your equation. So we got that equal to 3000, we're done. Let's do one more example. We have three times five to the negative x plus three equals 63. So just like before, there's nothing added or subtracted. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start by dividing by three. So if I do that, I'll divide by three first. And so the three on the left-hand side in the numerator and denominator cancel. So I have five to the negative x plus three in the exponent equals 63 divided by three is 21. And now I can go ahead and apply log or natural log to both sides. So let's say I do natural log this time. So I'm gonna do ln of five to the negative x plus three equals natural log or ln of 21. Now the exponent rule. This one is a little trickier because the exponent is an entire expression that involves addition. So when I bring that down in front, I have to put parentheses around it. This will be negative x plus three times natural log of five no more exponent on the five because I brought it down in front, equals natural log of 21. Okay, so now I'm gonna divide. So I'll go ahead and divide both sides by natural log of five. And on the left-hand side, natural log of five over natural log of five cancels. So I end up with negative x plus three equals natural log of 21 divided by natural log of five. So just like any equation where I'm trying to solve for x, I wanna get x by itself. So if I, if I subtract three from both sides, I'll end up with negative x equals natural log of 21 over natural log of five minus three, and then divide everything by negative one. So I'll have x equals negative natural log of 21 over natural log of five plus three. So it, dividing by that negative one changes the sign. So there is my answer. This would be my exact answer. Now, if I want the approximate answer, I'm gonna go ahead and plug that into my calculator. So I will do a negative and then natural log of 21, close the parentheses on the argument that you plugged into the natural log, divide by natural log of five, use your right arrow to get out of the um, fraction mode, and then add three. Just like before, I wanna show you that if you had used LOG, it would come out the same. So if I did log of 21 divided by log of five, and of course I have that minus in front of that term, and then I add three to that result, I get the exact same answer. So my approximate answer would be 
1.1083 would be the approximate answer if the problem asks you to round or to give an approximate answer. Okay, so now checking the answer, what I'll want to do is plug that in. So I will have three times five to the power, and I'm gonna put parentheses around my exponent. So negative X, I would have negative 1.1083185. I'm putting in the whole thing just to check, plus three, And there was a little bit of rounding involved. They didn't give us the entire number. And so it's coming out as 63.0000004 um, at the end. And that's close enough to the 63 to tell us that we got the correct answer. It's just not exactly 63 because we're plugging in the approximate answer and not the exact answer. So that's how you solve an exponential equation when there's only a single exponential term.